Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. The Supreme Court struck down the ban, California raised the coronavirus era indoor worship limit. 2. UN experts have urged Laos to release political prisoners. California. The Supreme Court struck down the ban, California raised the coronavirus era indoor worship limit. The U.S. Supreme Court has struck the home-setting ban on California when the proportion of infection in the state has declined and vaccination numbers have increased. However, according to the guidelines of the State Department of Public Health, meetings or gatherings in homes are discouraged and there is a limit to the number of people that can be gathered. Limiting the location and capacity of places of worship is optional, but encouraging crowdsourcing is encouraged the new guidance states and says these changes are a response to judgment's recent court. The Center for American Liberty, which has filed a series of lawsuits against Gavin Newsom on behalf of the churches, welcomed the move. State or local restrictions on indoor worship to prevent the spread from COVID-19 have been in place for most pandemics. Most religious organizations obeyed the restrictions, but some churches turned against them on the grounds that they violated the constitutional right of freedom of expression to express religion. Before that, the U.S. courts still imposed power limits and prohibitions on singing or chanting. Recently, the agency ruled that California was unable to enforce virus-related restrictions on home religious worship, including Bible study and prayer meetings prayer. California has announced that major changes will go into effect, easing restrictions on gatherings, including allowing indoor concerts and theatrical performances. The United Nations, UN experts have urged Laos to release political prisoners. Three activists serving lengthy prison sentences for criticizing Laos' repressive communist government have been urged by a UN rights expert to be released. Samphone Thimason, Sukin Chai Thad and Lodkam Thamavong were imprisoned in 2017 after participating in a protest outside the Laos Embassy in Bangkok and posting messages on Facebook. The UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights Defenders, Mary Lawler, said they had not received a fair trial and demanded their release. According to reports at the time, Samphone and Sukin were sentenced to 20 and 18 years in prison, respectively while Lotcom was sentenced to 12 years. But the UN statement said Samphone was actually jailed for 30 years and Sukan for 16 years. Foreign journalists are not allowed in without a government minder, and the Communist Party retains full control over local media. Critics are routinely jailed or simply disappear. Samphone, Sukan and Lodkam were paraded on state television in May 2016 making confessions about harming national security. The UN experts Lawler said the Laotian government was misusing national security as an excuse to silence critics. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.